Nice. Uh, Nathan, is the is Mango from the eighth to the ninth? Yeah. Okay. So, make sure you get ready for that. June eighth to June 9th, the Mango. It's gonna be awesome. I think Leffen will be there too. So Leffen, Mango. What is the Mango? The Mango is going to be, to my knowledge, uh, a major tournament. Um, it's going to have melee. It's going to have ultimate. And um, I mean, just all of your, or you know, some of your favorite melee players are going to be there. Mango's definitely going to be there. That would be super embarrassing if he wasn't. At it, uh, like, usually we say like Saga after things, but we're just calling it the Mango. But I'm just going to call it a Mango Saga because that's what it feels like to me. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a big old tournament. So uh, you better uh, pucker up than cheeks, because we're going to need to. Oh, um, yeah, uh, okay, okay. We're actually replacing the lovely heiress with my boy, Shasta. What's going on, Mr. Man? What's going on? How's it going? Uh, dude, I'm doing okay. Doing okay. All right, so it's here to all guy. My name is who he is. Uh, you have something to do, like round two today. <laughs> Oh, what? You have sent me round two today. He's a really good Simon Belmont main right now. Oh, God. Yeah, um, I actually just, like, kind of played a little bit of uh, Belmont for the first, like, actual time trying to play him. He's fun. He's actually a fun character to play. He's a really fun character. I, you, uh, so here all, I'll, I'll explain what he is right now, actually. He uh, he played Korn in Smash 4. He's actually, he was also very, he didn't go to a lot of locals, but he's really good, to say the least. Yeah, I guess this so, game, if he, he made it this far. Yeah, he doesn't play core anymore. He plays only, he plays, I think, strictly just Simon in this case. Not Richter, funnily enough. Well, I'm going to talk, else does. I'm gonna have to talk to him about that, because we, we need some more Corns out here. We really do. We're a dying breed, and I don't like it. I don't like that at all. I'm going to so. have to convince him, otherwise. I should have taught him about it. He says Corn's pretty basic and not that not exciting in this game, so he decided to play Belmont instead. Basic? Uh, okay, okay. I'll reserve my comments on that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, we got the yeah. we got the Belmont. And honestly, I mean, if, we, if we're going to talk about basic, Belmonts are anything but that. Oh, uh, yeah. I think Belmonts are actually really... Really difficult to play. I mean, when you when you're thinking about like angling aerials and all of that good stuff, that's difficult to do, man. It is really difficult because no other character really does that. Yeah, nobody. Uh, and I, it's like in those stressful, tense situations, like the C stick. You got to be real accurate with it, my man. Oh, very, very accurate. <laughs> yeah, and also there's Sonic, whom I, I was talking about before. Uh, I have a personal hatred for this character, but I think the character is good. I don't think the character is even remotely bad. I mean, like, I don't he, think it's bad either, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's not the same. Like you can't, you can't shield spin dash like you could in the last game as a mix-up or anything. Oh, you, you can still be annoying. With the, yeah. Oh yeah, and it, it's especially since like homing attack is so much more. I don't want to say precise, but it, it seems a lot more reliable uh, for a lot of different people. Um, it, exactly. it just, it just tends to work. I mean, if you shield it, you can punish it, and if they whiff it, you can mega punish it. So I mean, that's always been a thing, however. Um, but Sonic just has so much speed and has actually really good edge guarding potential, great recovery. Uh, this character's good. This character's really, really good. Mm. Like, Sonic in general, like, has, has had... I guess there's many combos in this game as well, and, like, I know Sonic means say, like, is, like Sonic's effort doesn't work that well in this game. Mm. Like, it doesn't work all the time, but I still have yet to even see it fail working, if I'm being real here. It's probably because they're so fixated on back air, they don't care. They're just like, oh, wait, <laughs> wait, wait up air? That's or, or forward air, actually. Forward air's pretty good, too, in this game. Forward air, too, yeah. Yeah, but as far as they... As far as they're concerned, they're like, what? what's an up air? What is that? Upwards aerial move. What what is this? I don't think I that's don't even. I don't think that's and in the uh, game. Yeah. So yeah, but I mean all it would take is like a little hitbox change. If it really is that busted. I do want to talk about Gaio here as well for a second. I know yeah. so I looked at his bracket before I, I hopped on here. So Gaio, uh, he was an unseated today. It's actually Gayo. Gayo, okay. I didn't think so either. It's Gayo. Huh. Okay, yeah. so yeah, Gayo, he was he was unseated today. He beat Virus Man, I think he plays Bowser and he's placed like he close to top eight here. Yeah, beat Sweet Tooth. I was getting there. Yeah. But, but after that, he played, I think, Dragneel, who's also a very, very good good player. Upset him as well, too. Jeez, and then, man. Okay, Gayo. I know, he, I know who Dragneel plays, but yeah. I know he's been he's a really good player here, though. And then he beat Sweet Tea. Yeah. Number 19 in SoCal currently. Yeah. But much fairer in Pichu with Sonic. Mm -hmm. Character a lot of people, once again, right off. But here he is in Worst Core's MSM. 
Uh, Playing I don't a person, another person who did upset someone else too. In this case, Muffin from Mars, who should have been here. He actually didn't beat um, Sweet Tea with um, with Sonic. He didn't go Sonic at all. He really? Went, he went Lucina, and uh, the other character escapes me. Uh, but yeah, yeah, he just has a nice little uh, multitude of characters that he can play. I guess he just plays this game a lot. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought? Yeah, going right? to tournaments and stuff. You play this game? Yeah. Uh, probably. probably Put a few hours into it, maybe. Probably maybe. like a couple, maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a, it's a toss up. Probably doesn't even know a switch, probably, for all we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what a poser. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah, that was a big rip. Very rip. solid game for Kao, though. Nice. Mm -hmm. They can game one. Yeah. Piece of cake. Okay. That looks like an emerald to me, but uh, okay. If, if he thinks that looks like a piece of cake, then okay. You never know, I guess. You never maybe, know. Maybe it's an emerald shaped cake. I'll do anything that I can to rip on Sonic and people who play Sonic. <laughs> Dang. There's, there's nothing wrong with that, I don't think. I think a lot of people are inclined to agree with me after Dark, playing Smash 4. Did he play Dark Pit earlier? He did play Dark Pit, That's yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dark Pit gets bodied by Pichu. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's not even cute. <laughs> it's it's really disgusting, Unlike actually. Unlike Pichu, it's very cute, but also very deadly. Oh, yeah. Pichu's so cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know what though? Um, we're going into this. Uh, oh, that's, that's going why. to be a problem, dude. Yeah. Oh no. That's why he picked Dark Pits. Yeah. Because even though he, like, he, he won with two socks in that last game, that is a huge advantage in this matchup. Mm hmm, for sure. And, and I he's using it a lot so far. I think Dark Pit is a, the better choice here over Pit, just because the kill power is a bit stronger in the hands of a Dark Pit. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, especially like near the ledge. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Those arrows being more powerful, if more knockback as well too, will help a lot if it can hit it's off stage. Yeah. Uh, you know, actually, there might be something said about regular pit in this particular matchup against a Belma. Oh, I, I got we should be okay. Yeah. Um. I mean, you can. I, I think there's there just. There it is. I think there's a bit more uh, malleability, or at least you know more uh, adaptability with the arrows for pit, so you can gimp Simon a bit easier. But I really don't know because, like, you only have one air dodge, and you know that's just a general uh, buff to Dark Pit. I think uh, that you only have one air dodge, so I can more likely hit you with these arrows. Hey, nicely done. Yeah, the multi hits. Are, that's another thing actually going against Simon hugely is the fact that you have those multi hits. Oh yeah, you and so, and I think Pit especially like his air got buffed a lot in this game. It sends outward and says like in like in, like in Smash Four, so. In this case, you can just disrupt Simon's whip as he's going back to the stage like this. Mm. Just off stage, you get an early stock. Mm. Good grab. Yeah, yeah. I mean, call me a scrub, but like, I actually kind of find it a little difficult to uh, to edge guard Simon, uh, just because like he's able to just ledge. He's able to just like whip back to ledge and just immediately like get that vulnerability as soon as he gets uh, hits that ledge. So I was playing here a while earlier before before this actually happened. Like before, I was playing over there in the friendly set, but mm. basically he described Simon Belmont or, and Belmont and Draymond as like as like projectile Captain Falcon. Ooh, that might projectile do Captain Falcon. That's interesting. Yeah. So like once because like basically like once like he can get once Falcon gets off stage, like it's not good for it's not good for him. It's hard for him to get back. Once like he gets pressured on stage, like, he'll get combo a lot because his weights and his like stature and everything. Yeah. But like. If he if he gets if he gets room and like if he gets in at all basically like he can just do work and just get rack up so much damage even a kill yeah oh That's my great. god the kills come so I don't want to say free but it's it's just like there are times when if you space that holy water out properly you're going to take some damage you you just are there's just like what are you going to do about it like it, that yeah that was perfect right there yeah that was a good axe that was definitely a good axe I want to talk about holy water spacing as well too so something I didn't actually know that uh, here to actually Tommy before says as well is that if you play if you place that holy wire just on the very edge of the stage, you can two frame with it. Yep. And in that case, you can just straight up, you know, uh, that's that's kill right there. You can just straight up like F smash for free at that point. It forces your options. Mm -hmm. It forces your options. It's just like, oh, you want to roll? Well, I was already. I knew you were gonna roll. Like it's just like they're already. Is that thing? It's no, it's not. Okay, you got the whip. It's it's just like they know what you're gonna do because they just stack it against you so hard. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. not like they're geniuses or anything. It's just like I only. You're playing chess with there half the pieces. Yeah, that was that was some good stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, and that was uh, that was quarters. That's one of his quarters for you. Yeah, now we got semis. Yeah, so we got, man. I didn't see earlier.